So here we got the new filter in with the new gasket on there or the O-ring. Um, just make sure when you uh, take that O-ring off, I just use like a small micro screwdriver or something. And there'll sometimes be gasket residue in there or O-ring uh, residue in there. You can scrape it out if you want and clean it out with a grease rag, but it's totally up to you. I would recommend once in a while just so you can keep your uh, seal as tight as possible because that is the role of your gasket here. Um, so now you just put it in, it'll snap, it'll snap to the top, you'll hear it, and then it'll kind of become the unit like that. Um, so once that's in properly and snapped into the top, just put it, just put it back in how you found it. Um, if you have the socket from GM, I would just, um, I would get snug. Uh, with your socket or your tool or whatever uh, just real snug because remember you are that is a plastic piece so it you just look at it looking at it wrong will strip it so you better be very careful and remember you doing plastic into uh, a cast uh, steel part so just be careful not to damage that plastic um, those threads because that's very important um but yeah 15 to 20 foot pounds is probably what you'd see maybe there 25 maybe um you don't have to get them too tight because as it expands and cools and contracts it'll tighten on itself um, but once you got that tightened up uh, for this 2.2 liter engine it takes four and a half uh um quarts of oil um, i'm just using 10w30 right now um it's all up to you if you want synthetic or that what you have it but um yeah four and a half quarts this engine takes and um, I usually grease this up with a silicone spray, your hood latch, just to make sure you can uh, unlatch your hood. But that's all there is to it, guys.